Okay, I guess this is video number three. I installed the fuel cell. It's mounted under the bumper area here. Nice and sturdy. And I didn't hook the uh, lines up yet to the reservoir, but I don't have too much time today, but I'll do that later, a day at a time. And then what I did is I ran all the wires from the fuel cell and the battery. Safety fuse, 40 amps. This is a 50 amp PM PWM. So uh, I put a 40 amp. I'm not going to go that high with it. And it should be as close to the positive post as possible. Um, within 18 inches. So keep it as close as possible. That's where the main draw is up at that, that terminal there. So ran the wire, all the wires. They go up here inside. And then what I have is uh, the controller's all hooked up, ready to go. You plug your fan, which is right here. Plug that fan into that connector right there. And uh, I forget what number that is. Let me see. Yeah, it's Y RJ2. So plug that in there. And um, the control wire, I have one right here. The control wire can go to ignition. When you put it over in your fuse box, try to get a fuse that isn't real important, like fuel pump or DCM. Um, I have it on the radio fuse. Make sure it goes off and on with the key, and you can connect that to that CNTR. And um, it also comes with a, um, a switch that goes in that hole right here. But um, what you could do then, if you didn't want to hook it into your fuse box, just go over here to the, your main power wire, put one terminal here, and then jump over here to the other side. And then if you flip the switch, it will come off and on. And I'm just going to leave it out of the hole. So, the first wire that's connected is H negative, that's your fuel cell, hydrogen negative, negative side of the cell. This B negative is battery negative, and you can run this wire to ground. I ran it over to the uh, left side of my kick panel, ground a nice spot, put a bolt there, that's good enough. That don't have to go back to the battery. The H positive, that is hydrogen's positive side so your fuel cell comes up here from your positive side and there's your battery that's the one with the safety fuse out there B plus and that's about it for that and there it is hooked up I mounted the controller on the dash right here so I um, guess it would be ready to go here turn it on there you go so right now it's just showing standing battery voltage if I start the vehicle should go up. There it is. So it's a pretty simple install. Um, on the back of that controller, that's uh, this part right here, you'll see that there's that P2. That's where you're going to put your sensing wire for your throttle positioning sensor. That's feature number seven. Um, I can go through the features later, but this is on the install. So we're getting ready. Um, maybe in a couple days I'll get the reservoir, mix up some juice, stick it in there, and we'll do our testing. But so far you get, that's the PWM, 50 amp, constant current. You got your Cat5 cable that goes in here, and there's a connection behind that. I guess it's right uh, there. You plug them in together, that joins them two together. And it's pretty simple. The fan's running right now. It's spinning. You put that back together with the uh, supplied screws. It goes on like that. And um, you should face this in an upright position, facing upward. Heat rises up. You don't want to turn it upside down. So um, that's about it for today. So keep on watching, and we're getting there. Bye.